So, um, don't put, yeah, put your hair back. There you go. All right. So, um, it's, it's, it's like we're down the last half hour. This is like, this is like called Michelle, what do you want to talk about? And, and, and those kind of things. I mean, because we talk about a lot. Is there anything that you said that you're sitting back there and said, you know, like, I wish we would have talked about this today, but we haven't yet. And, and maybe, you know, we're, we've got like some topics we're going to, we're going to come down to, um, here in the, the next. Well, first of all, I want to thank this guy. Did he do not do a fantastic <laughs> job? You had some really good, you did some, did some great product placement. Um, everybody that was here got a book. So <laughs> there you go. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to turn it over um, to you and you, you can kind of, you know, help us wind down. Like we do on all our calls when you're tired of talking, you just say, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Mike, and we'll continue. Get it, people, what they came for, Michelle. It's been a great day. We do miss the fact. Thank you, Marty. I will do my best. We did. We do miss the fact that he didn't dress up. I will tell you that. You know, you're gonna have to come next time because it's gonna be a dress. It'll be a dress up. Hey, look for COVID. This is dressing up, man. What are y'all talking about? I do. I do. I do have a costume. I was gonna put it on, but then I changed my mind. I know. Cause come next time, February, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, you know. Cause February is the is the month of love, and I've got some pretty good outfits for that, I think. Um, so we <laughs> we we we've got that, and uh, I I know, well, you know, not all of them are appropriate for the yeah. office. No, or as they say on the internet, NS not NSFW not suitable for work. Um, <laughs> I pay attention. I'm young. I'm still hip. And uh, anyway, for those of y'all that are here, we have, uh, I went down to the office. I got the, the, they got a ping pong table here, Marty. You wouldn't believe it. Ping pong. We got foosball. She said she's trying to get a shuffleboard in here. And, and then we also got our cornhole. So we're going to hang out for a little bit for those who want to hang out and just chat and ask questions and continue on for, you know, a little bit afterwards. But um, I'll let you go ahead and, and take got, it on down. And we got lots of food back there. And we still got we food. So we got snacks. We're going to be forced to eat. So one of the things that I wanted to share, first of all, wow, as, as we have done many, many boot camps over the years, um, it always amazes me when people get up and speak and every single presenter today was fabulous from Jeff to Adcock to Katie to Megan and Jonathan, Mike, um, guys, Y'all don't really know the level of experience of all of these people that are speaking have. And to be able to have that in one room, to do this just with our team is incredible. I'm just so grateful for everybody on our team that you took the time to be here. I really hope that you took one or two things that you can take with you today and go, I can do that part. Let me start there. Let me start with one thing that I can start doing tomorrow and just work on that. Um, and whether it's you decided you're going to set a goal or whether it's you decided you're going to get some leads or whether it's you decided, you know, you want to travel, you want to build a team. We didn't really talk about building a team today. I, you know, I'd love to talk with each of you more about building a team because that's where the multiplication of this business really is. And, you know, I mean, last year was a was tough year for everybody. COVID, you know, everything going on. And now we're, we're not finished with it. We're in a new year. We have a new mindset, right? And everything, I mean, it is totally possible. We learned so much last year about what we could do in this business, even with the pandemic. So, um, Lots of breakthroughs were made last year, and then lots of breakthroughs are going to be made this year. What is it going to be for you? Where, where do you see yourself next month, next quarter, and this time next year? Uh, what's possible for you? I know for me, I mean, a lot of you, a couple of you maybe don't know my background, but, but when I first got started, you know, I was just looking for a shot. You know, I was looking for an opportunity and I had a husband who was a worked at the University of Houston he was managing all the computer systems 
you had a great job, what seemed to be a great job, right, on the outside. But he was, it was killing him on the inside. And I knew that this opportunity could make a difference in our life if I just got out there and stepped out of my comfort zone and started following some people who I felt like were doing it. And just following them and just kept on doing it and working hard. Um, and it's led us to this point today where we've been able to do so many things with our family, with the trips, with the, with the opportunity, with the money that it has provided to have college educations, weddings, all kinds of things that would never have been in the parameters of what we could do before. Even on his six-figure income, right? You know, four, four kids through college, you know. It's just, this opportunity is here for you. You can make it what you want to make it, and we're here to assist you in any way that we can. Um, and I know that if you put into it what I did, you'll get the results. Just stick with it. Be persistent with it. Keep learning. And uh, keep plugging into the to the team. The team is here to really support you. We have a fabulous team. I'm just so proud of everyone who is on our team. So I don't have a whole lot of other things to say. Well, I was going to ask you a question. Um, I know that you you, I mean, outside of Adam Johnson, you've been one of the folks on the Fitz Group team that has been really working nonstop with um with your current clients and whatnot and and the, you have some daily habits that you do and you do that with your current clients and you have we you know with the arc you have the today tab and you can kind of use that but even for folks who are brand new kind of just talk to them about those daily habits that you have like you get really irritated if you don't do some of them you know like you get upset like you missed them you know so talk a little right. bit about that spend a few right. minutes on that okay so it's really important to have your really your daily schedule, you know, your daily, I, my life is, is run by my daily schedule. And I always trying to reevaluate that to be what is the most best use of my time to, to reach my goals, right? To reach our goals. And so one of those things is really, we started last year doing texting birthdays on every customer every day, every, you know, every day, their birthdays. And some days I might have 20 in one day, but I have systems in place that help me do that quicker. Um, another one is um, just getting back and doing your annual reviews every week, whether it's a customer that, you know, if someone calls, call them back. You don't know if they're calling to cancel or buy another policy. And sometimes it's buying another policy. You know, so don't be afraid of that. Uh, embrace, and if they're calling to cancel, you definitely need to talk to them because you can save the sale. There's so many times where I've saved the sale by talking to the customer that was going to cancel, was, you know, just totally going to cancel. Can't save them all the time. So what else do I do daily? The, the birthdays, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> else to get out of the mic and hear I'm not talking about anyone. Um, so you do your birthdays every day, but you also, you, you check your your status and all your policies. Oh, yeah. Also, okay. Yeah. So checking pending every single day, and I'm following up with my customers on what they need. I'm calling them. If they don't pick up, I text them. I let them know what they need, and I'm trying to get stuff done ASAP right away any kind of pending item. If someone gets approved, I'm texting them or calling them. Great news. It's always great news, Susie. Your policy just got approved. Just look for that draft on such and such day or in the next 48 hours if it's immediate. And be sure to call me when your policy comes in the mail. And most of them don't call me. But I'm asking them to call me. And then and then if I talk to them again, maybe a couple weeks or maybe a month later, I say, or maybe it's their birthday or something I'm talking to them, I said, did you 
forget to call me, you know, and they'll say, yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot. Well, let me go through it with you now, you know, and if it's a forester policy, I'll just make sure that they're getting on the website and getting registered on the website so that they can get at, um, emails from foresters on all of the free events because I want them to take advantage of foresters because that makes a happy customer and a happy customer means referrals it means um, you know more insurance and all of those types of things and you can get in, in touch with them and talk to them about other products like college plans um, IULs you know health matching accounts grandchildren policies I just recently had my first customer call in this week she said I got this letter I said well send me a picture of the letter <laughs> if I don't know what they're talking about I ask them to send me a picture of the letter basically it was a it was a policy from like 12 years ago that had a child rider and her child was now 25 so that child term rider was time to be converted. So that's a new sale for me, you know. So conversions are another uh, way to do so. The ARC provides a lot of opportunities for you once you get a customer to reach back out to them. And we have a training, it's called the Seven Touches. And it's all about how you touch your customer seven times after that sale to really solidify that sale. Another way to do it is by having three policies in the home. And that could be a child policy, it could be an accidental, it could be a regular policy. So, so one of the questions was, is can we text people in the CRM? And I think Don Hill does this. Don Hills does this every single week with her clients or, and, and such. Um, so you can. I, I'll say that when Michelle's doing her, her birthday messages, she's doing it from her cell phone. Um, because one of the other habits she has, right, is is that she has their phone numbers in her phone. So if she goes to text somebody, and it's not, it doesn't pull up their name, she knows that the database doesn't have the right number. Does that make sense? So there's some habits that she's developed by having her clients' names in her phone. Um, so you can. But you also got to think about if you use other systems like the CRM or, or some of these other automated systems, um, you got to be right on top of the responses, otherwise it's diminished. Because even if you, no matter what texting system you use, if they respond back, you got to be ready to respond right back, otherwise they know it wasn't you, <laughs> you know? So, or, or, or maybe you're distracted, you know, you have to be on top of all those things. So I'd say keep it to minimum. Your cell phone is actually the best one because that's also the number that they should have in their phone so for you. Yeah, and another habit, you know, there's so, so that you don't get me, I don't think about it. I don't even know what they are. They're my habit. Y'all want to know why I'm aware of them? Because every time we're trying to go somewhere and she's on the phone, she just keeps on going. And finally, I just have to like go in there and like stare at her because, like, you know, she runs down all these different things. Like, you know, oh, by the way, you know, I also do Medicare now and I can help you with that whenever it's your time. You look like you're getting about 65 and you probably have grandchildren coming along, you know. And how many grandkids you got now? You know what that was? That's another five minutes. <laughs> you know? You're just That's, going on. Those on, are my on, conversations. Those conversations. Those really are. He's heard me so much. So much. And, and you know, and, and, and then she'll start talking about, you know, oh, we also got these, you know, these health matching accounts that you really, I really need to talk, sit down and talk to you about because, you know, you got a lot of expenses and then you need some help with those things. And, you know, they can get trip, you know, twice your money back. You know, it's, it's just, I mean, she just, it, it's, and she says, the reason why I'm up here <laughs> is because she does not know she's doing all this. Y'all understand? <laughs> it's a natural course. In other words, she has all these things she's going to talk about. Well, I'm passionate about the products. And so anybody who has a Medicare Advantage or a Medicare Advantage plan, all of my customers have Medicare Advantage plans have out-of-pocket expenses if they go to the hospital from $300 to $800 out-of-pocket. So all of my Medicare Advantage customers, if they can qualify, get a hospital indemnity plan. Let me run you a rate for it right now. It's only about $20 a month. Oh, okay. 
Like I, I bet Betty can tell you if you walked into a furniture store with her in there as a salesperson and you were there to buy a couch, you walk out, you walk out with a couch, a lounge chair, some throw pillows, you might need some blankets, some tables to go, end tables to go with, and a nice rug. All right. Yeah, this is like that, right? And you know, you you walk out with all that stuff like you just came in here to get a couch, you know. And but you understand that those are all things that people were aware and just like, well, you're right. I do, I do need that. They do love you yeah. more because you're helping them lot their life. Yeah, because me as a person I mean, going to a furniture store, it's like you know, oh my gosh, and they got this new one down here that's massive, but. You know, it's like, we got to get the whole room done. And before I know it, I'm thinking about the carpet. I'm going to have to repaint again. You know, yeah, it gets crazy. But I mean, yeah, I mean, the hospital plans and the cancer plans are something that's easy to sell to someone that you've already sold a policy to because I know how many friends of mine have personally got cancer that have died from it. And, you know, you've got folks that are 60s, in their 60s and 70s who might just have a final expense plan and you're talking about an extra 30 bucks a month for a $10,000 cancer plan. It's very affordable. It's just an add on sale. Right. So, and so this so is where, like we talked at the beginning about the basics, right? Remember the basics stick mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. But then at the end of the day, you also have to know that if you're just going to be a basic salesperson, it, there's not as much there available to you as if you're expanded. And when you expand, you got to listen to, you got to come around. Like, see, I, I could, I could like say exactly what she says. Cause I'm around it. You know, um, Jonathan and Megan being in the office, they're around it. They hear it. Doesn't mean they're in the office taking notes, but you know, you can sit outside and listen in. You just can't help, but hear it. And that's how you get to know what else to do. How does she get to know these things? She's around other people. She listens to other people when they're talking about these things. And on the dial sessions, for those of you who are not in the state or close by, sometimes I'll do that on the dial session. I'm making a sale. so. Yeah, we try to open those so up as the, quickly as we can. I know a lot of folks get on the dial session and go like, there ain't nobody talking. That's right, they're working. And every now and then, you know, some of them, you know, we have to, we try and arrange it. We're talking. Or, or are able to open up the phone so that you can hear them. But it's a working session too. So if you get on there and no one's actually saying anything, then that's a cue. You, you need to get to work. <laughs> Make some dials. Call some friends. Call some family. Do something that gives you some activity. But like he sends out a birthday card to everyone once a month for the birthday month. And I still text him as well. So just stay in front. And then if they respond back to my text, then I respond back. You're welcome. Hey, with everything going on, we should chat and do a 10 minute phone review after what time is good for you. It, it, we should do a phone review tomorrow or the next day after what time is good for you. And if they respond, then I book, a, that's an appointment. I book like five to 10 appointments a week like that. Um, I also Give everyone my contact card from my cell phone, your contact card. You text them your card, your, your actual contact information so they can save your name and number in their phone. So that's important. Um, we do sometimes text from our Ring Central phone system and our Salesforce CRM, and they they respond back to that too, but I get it. I get the message right away. She gets everything, um, guys, on her phone. Everything buzzes on that phone. Every message coming from everything, every transaction. <laughs> so Sunday night I had a message back, and I posted it on the 411 about uh, we had sent a, a, a New Year's Day message, and she responded back on last Sunday, and she said, I'm sorry it's for the late response, but thank you, and – I've just been planning, it's been crazy. I've been planning so many funerals lately. I just gave your number to my cousin and to someone else who should be hearing from them. Well, bef that was Sunday night. Well, I had already heard from her cousin like Thursday, Wednesday of the week prior to Sunday. And I had already written three of the five policies that she did. There's still two more. And then there's still another cousin that's gonna call me. 
So that's how you get referrals, you just by staying in touch. You're not always asking for the business, but you're just being there for the special events. Happy birthday, happy new year, Merry Christmas. That's right. Yeah. And so with that, guys, we're going to close it out here for this afternoon. Uh, appreciate everybody for coming out and hanging out, um, whether you knew you or not. Please keep coming back. Pay attention to the webinars we're going to do um, to kind of go over some more topics. I'm going to get some of my other brethren out there on the Internet to help out with some of those so you all stay in touch. Um, but uh, 2021, the FITS group, the Alliance, it's going to be crazy this year. And we, so we just really hope that you take the time to be your crazy year for you. Um, there's learning curves and everything. There's pain and everything, um, you know. Uh, it, it's like it's the reason why I'm, I'm, I've, I've already, you know, let go of my gym membership at the home gym, is because it's, it's it's painful, it's cold, it it, it hurts. Uh, but I won't get back on it, you know. But you know, I, I, I'll, here here's how my life has worked. I'll tell you how my life has worked. In years, whatever decade, year zero through five, I'm relaxed, and in year five through nine, I'm getting in shape. So I still got another year, is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, y'all, have a great day. Um, we're going to go hang out here, uh, probably get some ping pong, some cornhole stuff going on. Um, stay tuned. We'll let you know when the next one is. We're going to sponsor here. And um, have a great day. Take it easy. And if you're here, take cookies and chips and stuff, please. <laughs> That's right. <laughs>